today we're going to start with the COVID-19 situation in South Korea. The daily tally for Wednesday is expected to be back above, uh, unfortunately, the 2,000 mark yet again. That's right. Health authorities are concerned over the post-holiday surge from the recent three-day weekend. For more on this, we have our Che Won Jung in the studio with us. Good morning, Won Jung. Good morning. Morning, Won Jung. So the official daily figure will be announced in the next couple of hours, as it normally is here in South Korea. Mm -hmm. Considering what we saw in terms of new infections between midnight and 9 p.m. on Tuesday, what kind of forecast are we looking for? today. And sure, like you said, the, today's daily tell is not out yet, but daily new COVID-19 cases will climb back to over 2,000 again, maybe less than that. It's because of post-holiday surge and because fewer tests were conducted over the three-day weekend. As far as cases go, from midnight to 9 p.m. on Tuesday, 1,871 cases were reported, and that's 356 cases more than at the same time on the previous day. Among local infections, 74% of for, were from the greater Seoul area. But again, this could change in the next two hours or so. As you know, another three-day holiday is coming this weekend, putting the health authorities on alert. Now, Won Jung, let's move on to vaccinations. Yeah. Yesterday, um, South Korea's teenagers aged between 16 to 17 have mm -hmm. begun booking their reservations for COVID-19 vaccines, provided right. they have mm -hmm. the, their, the parents' consent. Right. How did this go? Yeah, so just briefly, the South Korea's uh, health authorities uh, they start taking vaccine reservation from uh, 16 and 17 on Tuesday, which is yesterday. Uh, so far, no major hiccups have been reported. It takes just two minutes for them to book their shot, and website is stable right now. Again, they need a parental con consent to get the vaccine. Of course, because they aren't uh, technically adults yet. So for exactly, such yeah. a big decision, they need mm -hmm. to get uh, consent from their parents. What about other vaccine reservations? Uh, we hear some other groups will be eligible to make reservations in the near future. Right. So the, the pregnant women are up next and uh, starting uh, this Friday. And that according to the KDCA, the pregnant women who would like to get the COVID-19 vaccine can apply online from 8 p.m. Korea time. They will be getting uh, mRNA vaccines such as Moderna or Pfizer. And what's uh, really, really uh, interesting is that despite many feeling hesitant about the vaccine, uh, the South Korea is not only country that is urging vaccination for pregnant women. The U.S., the U.K., Australia and Canada all recommend they get vaccinated. It's because uh, they believe the benefits of a vaccination outweigh the risks. Now, Wonjo, before we let you go, can you tell us mm -hmm. more about this potential um, COVID-19 antibody treatment from AstraZeneca? So do you remember yesterday we sort of briefly talked about the uh, Johnson & Johnson Janssen uh, is a seeking FDA approval for its booster shot. Mm -hmm. uh, so another pharmaceutical company, AstraZeneca, is also seeking FDA approval for its COVID-19 antibody treatment. It's called the AZD7442. The treatment is delivered as a shot and prevents the COVID-19 symptoms with 77% efficacy. The company said the primary use would be for people with lower immunity after vaccination or people who weren't able to get the vaccine due to their health issues. And the UK drug maker is also talking to governments from the other countries to provide this treatment. Okay, well, hopefully that works because there are certain groups mm -hmm. uh, within society, those with uh, serious health issues that are just uh, unable to get the vaccine. Right, like for, underlying conditions. Yeah, like serious that, underlying right? conditions mm -hmm. or whatnot. Won Jong, as always, thank you very much for your report and I believe we'll be speaking to you again this time tomorrow. Thank yes, you. Yes, yes, we will.